Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi from Maranatha Community Fellowship in Plain City, Ohio. You know, this past weekend, I think it was, there was a, uh, a news thing that came out that, that someone highlighted the fact that Strava has a, a map out, and Strava is a fitness app, and so everybody who wears these Fitbits and everything can sign up for Strava, and, you know, Strava takes all this data conglomerates it all together and shows this map of light where everybody is right that's that's using their fitness app and so you know you can expect that the United States man there's just a lot of it lit up because there's people all over you know wearing these things these devices and walking around so they just look like big bright you know flashes of light on the United States um, where it got really interesting and a little bit uh, testy was when you go over to places like Syria, this guy was a, a, he really is interested in Syria and what's happening over there. And he noticed that when he looked at this map, you could see little specks of light in parts of Syria. And, you know, when you expand it out, you can actually tell that people are walking loops around certain areas or they're around look what look like maybe little compounds and so it's a security issue for the US military because who's going to be wearing these things it's US military personnel so they think by looking at those maps you know where some of the locations are so they can see that's exactly what's happening they're wearing these things on pat patrol they're wearing them when they exercise when they walk around and it's, so it's showing it and then there's other blips where they didn't know where stuff was that they suspect maybe you know, military outposts. So it's a real security issue because all of a sudden you see this light where people are walking with devices on. And I think it's something probably that's got people all up in arms now. Well, what are we going to do about this? And as I was thinking about that, I thought about God. And when he looks down on earth and he looks down, it says in Psalms 33, 13, it says, the Lord looks down from heaven. He observes everyone. He gazes on all the inhabitants of the earth from his dwelling place. He forms the hearts of them all. He considers all their works. And so, so God's looking down. He considers all their works, how they're walking. Are they walking with him or not? And it says, but look, the Lord keeps his eye on those who fear him, those who depend on his faithful love to rescue them from death and to keep them alive in famine. We wait for the Lord. He is our help and shield. For our hearts rejoice in him because we trust in his holy name. May your faithful love rest on us, Lord, or rest on us, Lord, for we put our hope in you. So I thought, what if God's looking down and it says his eyes are on those who fear him? What if when you're looking at the map of what God sees and those who fear him and trust him and believe in him and are doing works for him, um, out of the goodness and love that God has first showed them. What, what if they were showing acts of love to him and other people? And you could see that on a map. And it showed up as light. Like, what would God see? And, and so I got to question, you know, what would our activities look like? What, what would God, what would your house look like? Like, are you doing things that, that would please God because you believe and place your hope and trust in him and love him? Well, what about at your job site with would it show up as light? Would there be circles of light in the paths that you walk and how you treat your coworkers? What about on your commute? Oh, there's one, I got you, right? Are you getting mad or are you patient with all those people who cut you off and on your trip home, back and forth to work? And so I just got to think, what would it look like? And here's the bottom line, unlike the Strava map, which is a security risk, if we look at what God sees and that his eyes are on those who fear him, it's like that map shows, you know, where our security lies, that he wants to rescue us, that he is our hope and shield. You know, so have you put your trust and hope in Jesus Christ today so that the map would light up in God's eyes? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Bottom Line.